All right, Henry, we need to get to bed, man. You gotta make this quick. I noticed attitude. I refused to lose attitude tonight. Go up. Did a lot of things, made some mistakes, but I refused to lose attitude. Is that right. fair to say? Um, I was hoping that this game would be like um, every other game we've had after a loss. We bounced back. We bounced back terrific after Auburn. Bounced back terrific after uh, the game against UTEP, and obviously our last game uh, against San Jose. So. I think it's a it's a more a testament to our players and the character of our guys um, for just having the resiliency and some really good bounce back um, off of off of defeat off of stress. Good. Uh, Fresno State is known for three pointers. They're yep. the team in the Mountain West that have attempted the most, and you guys are the ones who have attempted the least. But today you guys had 22 attempts, and you actually all shot them from there. Yeah. Was this all part of the plan, just trying to shoot more three pointers, or was it just kind of happening? Yeah, it was all part of the plan. Um, no, yeah. Quite honestly, um, we've we know our wings are going to have to make some threes, and uh, we've this was the first time we've really had a break um, that our non-conference uh, schedule was just game, 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 game. This was our first real bye week, and I thought we had some great workouts this week, and we really individualized them into what our team kind of needed, and the guys that need to make shots have, have taken a lot of shots this past week. We need to continue that the rest of the way. And I think as long as those guys can make shots, it'll really open up the offense for everybody else. Um, that's the offensive side of things. Obviously, on the defensive end, we knew going into the game, they shoot a lot of threes. I mean, this team and Air Force are shoot more threes than anybody we're going to see all year. We knew it was going to be coming back to back. Um, I think as long as we, we challenge them and really utilize our length and our size, I still like you know our defense. We're not going to start changing things. Um, and kind of running around and, and giving up a lot of stuff around the rim. So um, defensively, it worked tonight. It obviously didn't against San Jose. And you know, when teams make a lot of threes, everyone you know points the finger at our defense and our scheme. But I think our scheme defensively has won us a lot more games than it lost us from the three-point line this year. You talked about wings needing to make threes. Vance obviously gets six tonight. I'm curious what the I guess the balance is between Vance just being more aggressive, letting the game come to him and doing it himself, and how much is on you as a coaching staff and his teammates kind of getting him involved more? Yeah, um, I think it's probably a good combination of both. Uh, the way we've kind of, um, our team has kind of segued now, and, and Jaquan's kind of our point guard, so a lot of it's going to be on him. I thought he did a great job of finding Vance tonight. Um, the good thing for McQuatch and Vance and Zane is they're getting wide open shots right now. People have looked at the percentages, and they're giving them great looks at the basket. So hopefully now as these guys make shots and then the defense starts to guard them differently, then it'll open back up for the guys that got us here, the Corys, the Jaquans, the guys that you know started our year. So it's just going to kind of be a process for us as we kind of work through trying to get things going for Vance, and obviously Vance taking advantage of that opportunity as well. Uh, Vance is obviously hitting his threes, but it seemed like he had a moment of growth where he passed up that one three, drove in for the dunk. Yeah. Is it, have you worked with him on just trying to change his game a little bit to to get a little bit better? Yeah, uh, I think I said after, gosh, these games are running together. It might have been the Davis game or the Baptist game. You know, I, I, we talked about his stats from last year to this year, and I thought the biggest discrepancy was free throws. That last year he did a tremendous job of getting to the free throw line and just giving himself a rhythm and, a, and touching the ball and getting into the game. And this year he was just kind of settling for threes, and that was it. Um, so I think him just kind of being more aggressive, taking the ball to the basket has been very advantageous for him. And, you know, this the, the line going back, I think, affected a lot of people. We, we talked about defensively, you know, um, wanting people to shoot more threes. Um, but offensively, it affects our, our guys as well, you know, and it's a, it's a little bit of a longer line. And hopefully now he's adjusted to it. And maybe this will be kind of what we get the rest of the way, I hope. Defensively, it felt like you guys were getting some momentum defensively into halftime. What did you guys carry over in the second half? What did they, what did you guys just do better defensively overall? Yeah, you know, I just thought we had a rough start to the game. You know, I thought they made some plays. They came out with some really good pop. We didn't, um, you know, miss some free throws at the beginning of the game. And they just got out to a nice lead. And really from that point on, I thought we won the basketball game. Uh, and I thought our team settled in, uh, just kind of grinded our way through it. You know, worked our way back, then got a lead, and then extended it and extended it. And I thought for whatever it is, 35 minutes or so, we just we just played much better basketball. You talked about having the break, coming into this game a little bit more prepared. But I mean, how big was it just getting Carlton back too? I mean, splitting minutes with Corey. I mean, just how big was that 
Are you on both ends of the floor? Yeah, I mean, especially with Grimes playing, I thought it was, you know, we didn't know if Grimes was going to play or not. Um, and we kind of had a game plan with, without him, and we kind of walked through all that. Um, but obviously with Grimes getting on the court, they still, I mean, murdered us on the backboard. And, and, and him and Robinson are just a low down there to, to block out. But just having him down there obviously was, was, was big for us to kind of offset those guys. Coach, you talked about the guys just generally just playing better as the game went along. Has there been anything consistent through the season where you know, maybe it takes them a couple of minutes to get into the flow of a game? I think offensively that's been us all year long. It's just taken us some time. Obviously right now we have guys playing new positions. We unfortunately were short a couple guys tonight, one of which we found out 20 minutes to tip. So you know we're, we're juggling some different rosters, but thankfully our our veterans, our guys, Jaquan, Vance, you know, those guys were able to kind of carry the load for us today. Last two. Paul, uh, you knew the question was probably going to come first time since the uh, the police report was released. Do you have anything you can say about Carlton Bragg being reinstated, why he was reinstated, what you guys know that reinstated him, and do you feel that UNM has done enough on his behalf? Um, I, I forget the game I talked to. I said then at this point I, I forward all the questions to my athletic director. Um, that's pretty much where I stand right now. Okay, well, last question. Uh, first, Keith. Is their timetable for his return, and then Air Force, uh, Air Force just dismantled Utah State tonight. So. They, yeah. By twenty. Um, yeah, Keith unfortunately uh, had a family funeral. Uh, went home. I, I, I think he's going to be back tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, he was not available. Uh, Tavian came down with the flu twenty minutes before the game, um, so those two were out. Uh, Air Force, like I said, Air Force and Fresno. Should we, when we're expecting between the two games, 50 to 63 point attempts. So it's been all about three point defense going into Fresno. I'm confident that a lot of that's gonna translate into Air Force, obviously different team, different personnel, but they shoot a ton of threes. And when teams shoot that many threes, they can obviously shoot themselves into a big win or, or it can kind of go the other way. So we just have to be prepared to guard the three against the Air Force and a completely different style of play. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. And, and I will add, and I also did say this last time, when I can't comment on things, I've always been transparent. I've always been upfront with people. I'm not trying to hide anything. And when that time comes, I'll be glad to answer as many questions as I can. I'm not avoiding things purposely. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Jaquan Lyle, double double, 14 points, 10 assists. Jaquan, I won't put you in the position of answering any details, but you do have your. You're running mate Carlton back in the lineup tonight, and I'm curious how much of a load was it on you with two of your fellow starters, two friends of yours that were, were missing for three games, and, and what is it like to have them, one of them back? Um, I mean, Carlton, I mean, he's a great player. Uh, having him back on the court is obviously a bonus for us, but uh, I mean, just playing with those guys, I mean, it's just an opportunity for myself and you know what I'm saying, other guys to step up and make plays on both offensively and defensively because those guys made plays on both ends of the court. And uh, I think like that was the biggest thing, just guys stepping up and making those plays. Are you the leader of this team? You're acting like it. Do you feel like the leader of the team? Um, I mean, yeah, definitely. I think so. I mean, I think guys, you know what I'm saying, look up to me. Uh, probably the fact that I'm second oldest dude on the team. And, I've just been through a lot of different different situations in life, not just basketball. And um, you know what I'm saying? They can come and talk to me about any single thing. And I think just kind of like that, I'm kind of old man too. So give off that kind of vibe. But other than that, I mean, yeah. You guys have bounced back from every loss. What was the key to bouncing back tonight? Uh, don't lose. I mean, that was the biggest mm -hmm. thing. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, we, we come into every game with the same approach. Um, you know what I'm saying? Confidently and thinking we're going to win. So. Uh, I think the main thing this game was just whenever we get a lead, keep maintaining the lead. Uh, I think at uh, San Jose State, we got up, I think, probably like 13 or 14 in that first half, and then everything just changed with just the lack of intensity on our part, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of mistakes on our part. Uh, I think tonight we did a good job at eliminating them, everybody but me turning the ball over. But <laughs> other than that, everything's pretty good. Uh, earlier this season, I asked you about his performance on offense, and you were saying that you had an interesting answer that the offense kind of comes to you with, with this team. But I'm curious, now that you're running the point, have you, have you noticed a shift in getting him more involved with the offense? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a difference. I mean, when you make a shot, when you're not. And credit to him for, you know what I'm saying, not holding his head. 
getting in the gym, staying with it, keeping the confidence in itself. And now, you know what I'm saying, the shots are falling. We all knew eventually that they would, and now they are. So, I mean, last game, 25 points this game. I'm pretty sure they like 30 or something. 29. 29. So, I mean, you see it. You got to stay the state of course, and you know what I'm saying it's paying, paying, it's benefiting right now. You guys have been, you know, kind of road dogs since you guys came here. You guys get a little competitive, like, oh, I dropped that tonight. Oh, I dropped this tonight. Is it kind of like that between you two? Uh, no, I mean, it's just, it's just fun to, you know what I'm saying, see, see somebody, you know what I'm saying, do good, do good. We go back home, chill, chill together, talk about it, talk about the shots you made, talk about the shots you missed, and just talk about everything. But like I said, it's always, it's always fun whenever you're winning. One last question. You guys, uh, you have some uh, freelance plays that uh, – Sometimes work and get the place really going. Sometimes few of them you did today. Where does Paul draw the line? Uh, do you, does he encourage you guys to do some showboat stuff? I mean, it's basketball. Uh, I mean, we try to have as much fun as possible. Uh, and I mean, the the way you have fun is getting the crowd involved. And you know, what I'm saying sometimes sometimes they go go through and work. Sometimes they don't. But at the end of the day, like we just want to have fun. So, yeah. he, encur he encourages or at least uh, I mean, lets you do it to a point. Yeah, the, depending on, it's just depending on the game. You got you to know the game. Uh, the game's pretty close, and you, you know what I'm saying? You really can't make the, I guess, showboat play. But, I mean, nine times out of ten, whenever it's a showboat play, uh, you know what I'm saying, the game is pretty we pretty much, you know what I'm saying, up by a couple points or something like that. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, Vance Jackson, 29 points, one away from his career high, 13 rebounds. That's his second straight double-double. Vance, that, that's your first back-to-back 20-point -back game since the Mountain West tournament. And that was the, the Vance I think everybody thought they were going to see all this year. Yeah. So the first time you've had back-to-back -back 20s, is this the Vance you thought you were going to be all, all this year? I mean, I've been the same player since the first game of the season. I was just, wasn't making shots. But I just kept um, my head up, you know what I'm saying? The coaches kept uh, giving me positive um, energy, my teammates, and eventually it was going to drop. So. You know, fans, uh, you know, Jake Quan was just talking about, you know, it's basketball, you got to have fun. And some of those threes, you know, you just, you looked like you were really enjoying watching those fall. I mean, what was going through your mind? Just, you know, you make the fourth, the fifth one, and yeah. you just looked, they were pretty, you know, emphatic uh, as you're walking back. Like, I don't care if I miss, you know what I'm saying? I can miss eight in a row. I'm still going to shoot that night one like I just made eight in a row. So it just feels good when the shot goes in and the crowd's involved. Man. What was it about the game oh, plan tonight and just the flow of the game for you that was clicking? Um, I don't know. Just watching film, you know what I'm saying? We've been watching film, uh, you know what I'm saying? For us, we a good team. So we just had to, like, follow the game plan, you know what I'm saying? Rebound. It killed us on the glass. But... It happens, you just gotta just stay with it and the game will just come to you. Speaking about staying with it, you didn't have real good games of your caliber early in the season. Yeah. Now it's back. Why specifically are you back? Uh, I, I'll be in the gym, you know what I'm saying? I'll be in the gym, I wake, I'm early bird, I wake up in the gym, you know what I'm saying? I stay at the practice. I, I know eventually it's gonna fall, you know what I'm saying? So. Just staying, staying with the flow of the game, just staying true to myself, you know what I'm saying? Staying close to God, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but other than that, it's, it's basketball. I've been playing since I was five. So. And how's the feeling? What does it feel like to to make those shots now? Man, I'm supposed to been do this, you know what I'm saying? I wish I could have done it first half of the season, you know what I'm saying? I know everybody didn't have a lot of expectations, but everything's going to come and just everybody's going to relax. Last one. You, uh, you passed up that three and then drove in and dunked in that one play. That's something you haven't really done a lot of this year. Yeah, I got that in my bag. Yeah. yeah. Is that something you uh, you plan to do a little bit more of, be a little bit more assertive driving? Yeah, for sure. Especially when I'm going to practice today at Windmill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the sky's the limit right now. <laughs> you got that in your bag? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks, Vance. All right. Thanks, Vance. Appreciate it. Yeah.